Welcome back. Three months after bringing back the Police Athletic League basketball team, they are now champions. Last month, the Boynton Beach Pal All-Stars beat Brooklyn in the title game. And here this morning to talk more about how the city of Boynton Beach is honoring the team is the program director, Bill Tomei, and MVP player, MVP player, excuse me, Jaden <laughs> Miller. Welcome and congratulations Thank you. to Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So before uh, we get started on your journey, we want to ask Bill, you know, just what it meant, you know, to, to bring back this, this trophy. It meant everything. I mean, we met these kids right four or five months ago. We had a big league, 60 kids. We, we picked the best players. We knew what we were going against up in New York. We had to bring the best. And um, to take these kids up there, half the kids have never been to New York, uh, it, was, it was fulfillment. And the whole city was behind us. And the police department was there, you know, creating these programs for these kids. And to see these guys' faces at uh, Coney Island when we first got off the plane, <clears throat> And then um, going up against New York, they were ready for us. We had a long travel day that day, getting on a 7.30 flight in the morning, playing at 9 o'clock at night. We lost the first game by one point in overtime. We are credit that to us for being tired. <laughs> so bittersweet to come back, revenge, and to beat the team. And the same team in the finals three games later meant everything. So you had a very successful first year. Do you plan on continuing the program? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of things coming up. We expect to do an uh, outdoor festival, basketball festival in the uh, city of Boynton Beach. One of our past players who started was in this position 20 years ago, Johnny Steffen, to start his own business, Handle Life, and he trains uh, NBA players. He's going to come back to Boynton July 1st and do a clinic. So there's a lot of big things coming to Boynton Beach, and we're excited that these guys started us off on the right foot. All right, let's get over to our MVP right here. So, Jaden, I mean, what was going through your mind in that moment? Um, a, a lot of things. <laughs> um, to be honest, I just wanted to win. Um, like... We came in the first game, like you said, we lost. So, you know, after that, the whole team was a little rattled, I would say. I wouldn't say we were scared, but, you, you know, guys just, came a, back stronger. just a little shaky. Exactly, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, in my mind, I got to do what I got to do to help the team win. If that means score, if that means assist, whatever, you know. So, the MVP was just, you know, an add-on, but I love it. What would you say are some of the lessons you took away from this experience? Um, definitely fighting adversity, facing adversity. You know, after losing, you know, like I said, everyone had their head down, a little nervous and everything, but... You know, I, I talked to my guys, everything, talked to the coaches. We came together as a team, and we were like, you know, we got to go get it done. You know? All right. Look at that. Proud mama right back here. Yes. Um, that's a great message right there. Yes. And uh, your mama raised you well, right? Thank you. Thank you. She definitely <laughs> did. She definitely <laughs> did. Bill, so on Tuesday, the city of Boynton Beach recognized the team. Can you just tell us how they did that? They did. So the whole city, as you can see the picture right there, you know, it all started, like he said, teamwork. That team right there, the city commissioners, Dan Duggar, and Georgia Jewel, I can't say enough about the chief of police. They want to put positive programs back in the city with police officers. You now, these guys get to travel with police officers, right? We took three police officers up there, myself, a captain, and a sergeant. So they get to see us in a nice light, right? Our job is just to arrest people, it's to help people. And now they go back with these good memories and this and that. And on, on, on his note, um, so we win the championship, and the director turns to the team and says, Well, you guys are the champs. Who's your MVP? And the whole team, yelled his name. Wow. So his, his teammates selected him, which is huge, because I had 6'8", 6'7", 6'6". And on the other note that he said, we lost the first game. We blamed it on the coaches. We had to adjust. So once we figured out that we had to give him the ball and let him take over, <laughs> it was smooth sailing. So Jaden right. Miller, well deserved. Yes, thank you. Thank we love you, you man. Thank Congratulations. You, man. And big things Definitely. are coming up for these guys. He's, he's going to get a scholarship now for college. Yes. And four other guys are being offered. And we can't wait to watch him now go and Absolutely. succeed and come back. Well deserved, yes. Jaden, and Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. For more information, you can head to our website, WPBF.com, and you can.